We're about to get into something very interesting. And if you're a mother, this might make you laugh. Because if you're not a mother, you'll be like, uh, what are these people doing? Okay, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying hard, I'm trying hard. Or a father, fathers especially. Hmm. I hope you're watching. Anyway, all right, so we have two dolls with me or with us here, and we are about to play a game. But before we get into this game, we actually have a little video for you, and this is a snippet of what actually goes on in the, you know, um, behind the scenes, especially by our producers. And like I said, we have dolls here, but before the dolls got to us here, this is what our producers were doing with the dolls. Let's meet oh. our baby for tomorrow. I haven't had that. No, the baby has to sit. Very. 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 Long time, Mrs. Sahara is down here, baby. Hello. Hello, Auntie. How are you? Say, so I'm fine. <laughs> Auntie, I don't know how to sit down. But why did you sit down? Because I cannot sit. Look. <laughs> and like, I look black and beautiful. Like, now meet Mommy Efua. Hi, Mommy Efua. So Mommy Efua got lashes. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. I am black and beautiful. I am black and beautiful. I am black and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Helen. And that is Helen Grace, and Helen Grace is one of the producers of the show. And yeah, she got a, a little bit too excited. I'm sure yeah. she missed her childhood. Yeah, I'm right. sure. And decided to put. Hey, 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 you know, Helen looks like a doll. You know, petite, she's <laughs> modest. Yeah, she's we can actually, cute. we can actually grab her up and you know. So we should have got her here. Yeah. To breastfeed her. Anyway, we have <laughs> we have two dolls here with us, and we have okay. um, two Mami diapers, Fua, as yeah. Helen will call yeah. her. Yeah. And then. And then who? She didn't name Rudolph. this one. Helen, could you oh, give Rudolph. us a name? This I think it's is Rudolph. Rudolph. Yeah, yes, Rudolph. Rudolph. Yeah, Rudolph. All right. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So there's a reason we want to understand the do's and don'ts of a new mm. mother. And we have a resource person in here with us to discuss it all. Her name is Nanefua A. McRighteous. She is an emerging midwifery officer and a health advocate. Pretty woman. You are welcome. Right. Thank you. You're so beautiful. Thank you. You too. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. You She's so too. Beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So, do we go to the game? Yeah, let's start with the games and then Mami, um, Mami, just watch and tell us if we're doing it right. If we're doing it right or if wrong. If we're doing it right. Exactly. All right, so we have two baby dolls and we have two diapers. Now it's time for us to get into the game. And we actually have to choose who's going to be the moderator of this and who's Wait. going to use which doll. <laughs> Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, dun. Oops. Dun, dun. Oh, dun. Dun, 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 that's Mami Efua. <laughs> Mami Efua. Okay, Mami Efua. Let me, me, yes. me carry my baby. Is this a normal size of a baby? Yes. Let's um, see. So. Is this a normal size of a baby before we even In start? In a way, no. In a way, no? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So this can be termed as a preterm baby. Preterm baby. Oh, my yes. God. Hold the baby carefully. Hold the baby well, girl. Yes. So. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Yes. So what do we have to do, Elin? Okay. So your baby just pooed, mm -hmm. and you have to change him or her okay how do you go about it all right please um baby okay. so i would have to um i would want to lay my baby on a changing table of course okay. this way so you're you're a new mother like i'm not a new mother so i got this baby open your legs <laughs> <laughs> then get a wipe okay and then after taking the diaper off Okay. Lift the baby's leg like this. <laughs> clean. <laughs> clean. <laughs> Open up. Oh, clean in between the ties. Oh my God. Clean very oh, well. Mommy's and then put to some you. Um, powder, baby powder, and then uh, put the diaper back on. Ah, so where's the diaper? Do I have to wear the diaper? Yes. You ask what you do you are, do? You are, you are changing. Okay. You are changing your baby. Let's do this. You all. Please. <laughs> hmm. People. You don't know. Yo, go mommy. You don't know. Go mommy, Jifa. You don't know what is going go on. Go mommy, Jifa. 
Go, Bobby G5. You don't know what is going on, girls. Let me give you space. Sorry, I think I can't. <laughs> you cheat. <laughs> Please, wait, wait, take wait, your wait, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do that. Why don't do you that. watch it? Don't do that. I turn the diaper. <laughs> the one I use is not like this. Oh, right? no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No. Stop being defensive. <laughs> The one I use is not like this. Eh, so there's a special yes, one you yes. use. That one then. I make it in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. My baby in a diaper. Then I pat the baby's back. Why? Did you just feed the baby? No. <laughs> it's my style, please. It's my <laughs> it's my parenting style. All right. Okay, <laughs> please change your baby. Alright, so you take off the old <laughs> diaper. Oh my baby's crying. Baby. Oh don't worry, don't worry. You're going to get dry very soon. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh, oh. don't cry. Is it Jifa? Ah, uh, is it Jifa? Don't mind Jifa. Oh, baby. All right, before I put this on. Okay, let's take some breaths. Okay. Ooh. Ah, mommy, you're such a good I am giving you breasts. Why are you crying? Calm down. Oh, baby. Okay. Now she's cool and everything. Oh, mommy, for I like to talk to my babies. Okay. okay. Oh, hi, baby. Okay. Mommy, for good girl. 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 Good Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl right there. Even though you're very small. 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 <laughs> that's a good girl. Oh, no. This thing is too big for you, but we go manage her. Baby, that's my baby girl. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Go, 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 go. Oh, good girl. Okay. Go, 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 wow. go, 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 go. Why are you crying again? But your baby's pre term. <laughs> <laughs> she, keeps, she keeps forgetting she keeps what forgetting she breathed. Your baby's pre term. Okay, your baby keeps crying. She's doing the baby anyhow. Okay. Your baby keeps crying. Mm -hmm. Why does your baby keep crying? Um, she's probably wet, mm. and or she's probably hungry, yeah. or she's probably sleepy. Okay, I All got right. this. Also, what? you. Why? She said, what? She said everything. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> the baby is in style. pain. It could be that the baby is in pain. Mm -hmm. The baby is wet, as she said, mm -hmm. or has pooped, uh, or maybe the baby has headache. It could be anything, fever, anything, right. anything right. at all. Okay. okay. The baby is awesome. even uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right now, Nana, please. We have to judge our ladies. Were they, especially the preterm one first? Oh, wait, wait. Ah, yeah. why wait? I'm the moderator. <laughs> my diaper thing. It was just. It was, I didn't see. Sure. Okay, so the do's and don'ts <laughs> of a mother. Okay. How were they able to change the baby properly? Okay. Wipe the baby properly okay. as the baby kept crying. What could they have done that they didn't do better? Okay. Hey. So. I think I'll first talk about my observation before I go Please to the go ahead. Ah, and don't. Please go ahead. Okay, so they did so well, but hey, there was something very important they omitted, yeah. which I know it's very important to them as well. That mm. is washing hands. Washing hands. Ooh. Mm. So, as a new mother, you shouldn't joke with this. Mm. It's neither you or the person coming to hold your baby right. mm -hmm. that is going to transfer infection. You should make sure that that is your priority. Mm -hmm. So they, they omitted that. Before I didn't or after? See. No, before, before and, and after. after. So they also didn't talk about a safety place. So I was so happy when Jifa was like, let me place her on this surface. Yes. But then she didn't talk about the safety. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I assume she knew how safe it was, but then maybe it was registered in her mind, but then she didn't communicate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I also saw Kreska assuming mm -hmm. a position mm -hmm. where baby will not fall yeah. and then placed baby on the laps. That one too is safety. Right. Okay, so they all did well by um, slipping the diaper, mm -hmm. raising the buttocks of the baby and slipping the diaper there gently. And also with the wiping, I had a problem with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So with the wiping, um, you wipe from top to, 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 to down, down yeah. so Infections. that you don't transfer fecal matter yes. mm -hmm. to yeah. Um, the urinary tract or anything. Sure. So to prevent infection, you wipe from top 
to down. So I saw the fat doing it, mm -hmm. but then she brought it up, up again. again. No, you know, so, I think probably because we cannot see the feces. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But then, if we can see... I'm making see, a for us. <laughs> I know, but it's yeah. advisable yeah. because we can't see, yeah. we shouldn't take risk. Right. right. Yes, right. so that is how it's supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. And after it, I saw that um, you all made your babies comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the right positioning of the hand mm -hmm. and then I saw the support of the head mm -hmm. and the neck mm -hmm. and then also make it line in a straight manner and I think that was done perfectly awesome. well awesome. so awesome. that's it now yes. there's a reason babies have a diaper rash okay Jifa made mention of after she had wiped the baby down yes. she was going to use either a pow powder or a sort of pomade yes. to cream. nappy cream to yes. smear on the baby's buttocks. Yes. So our mother's supposed to do that constantly, religiously. Okay, okay sure. So when Difa was talking, I think with the powder, I, would, I wouldn't advise it. Mm -hmm. But we oh. have barrier creams. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me first talk about nappy rash. Sure. So for you to know that my baby is getting it, a kind of a reddened, the place becomes reddened. Red, yeah. So something like the, the buttocks mm -hmm. and the groin mm -hmm. area. So you see readiness there. And then sometimes you see the baby so uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Then later you see rashes appear there. Yeah, right. Okay, so when you constantly don't change your baby oh. or when you constantly do not um, allow um, Diaper. Sometimes you, it's not every time that you are supposed to put diaper. Sometimes mm. you have to free the baby. Mm. Yes, that's why we get that mat that can soak urine yeah. and poo poo and yeah. all that. So you make the baby comfortable. So now, if baby is always on diaper, mm. baby is prone mm. to this. Right. If um, you don't change regularly, mm. as in you take your time because of, you want to economize things. Mm -hmm. You wait. I'm saying this because of how the economy is yes. going yeah. and then the stages of certain mothers. And so they think they have to economize. Mm -hmm. And so they leave it for a longer period, mm -hmm. making it, you are rather putting your baby at That's risk. Mm -hmm. And that money you wouldn't want mm -hmm. to spend, you mm -hmm. might end the up. Hospital doubling it so you don't need to um leave it for a longer period of time so if you change baby regularly and then you allow um like the flow of you al you don't um you allow baby to be there without a diaper okay. for a period of time. Mm -hmm. It also helps to prevent this diaper rash. Also, there are babies that react to certain um, soaps. Oops. So sometimes it's not about you might get in your nappy um, tricks so well, but then right. certain soaps that right. we use can also. Sometimes antibiotics, certain medications wow. can make the baby react. Mm -hmm which can lead to all these things. Right. Wow. So, yes. So talking about okay. um, economizing, um, you s when it comes to babies, um, women have different ways of, you know, um, mothering their babies. Let's talk about um, diapers. Which one is better? Is it the disposable one or the reusable so, one? Like what we call napkins. napkins. Okay. So um, I wouldn't talk about which one is better. Mm -hmm. I would only advise the right one to use. That is the extra absorbent ones. Mm. So if your napkin can be soaked without making baby uncomfortable, mm -hmm. without it getting wet to the extent that when you remove it, you can feel that the urine, mm -hmm. yeah. then you are good to go. Mm -hmm. If it is cotton-like, then you are good to go. The same thing applies to diapers. Mm -hmm. So with diapers, the cotton-like ones mm -hmm. and the ones with um, holes, as in air holes, that, perforated, yeah, yeah, yes, perforated ones. ones, that can easily absorb the urine to the extent that immediately baby urinates, you can see it 
soaked, mm -hmm. you wouldn't feel any wetness, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then that means you are good to So go. just like our pads? Yes. yes. Okay. Also, we shouldn't um, forget that it shouldn't be too tight, mm -hmm. especially the waist, to the extent that it shouldn't leave any mm -hmm. marks, marks on the baby. On the baby. Right. Right. So whether you go for napkins or you go for diapers, these are the tricks you are supposed to so you're still yeah. on the economical bit about using diapers and all that. You may mention of the fact that it's not a good uh, advice to use powder. Yes. Now, for a mother who cannot afford um, a cream, yes. what should the mother use? Is it okay to use shea butter, locally made, undiluted shea butter? Yes. So this is a rhetorical question. You've answered mm -hmm. yourself. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. That, okay, I get it. I get it. So All you right. can use shea butter. Yes. So let's talk about um, new mothers. How can new mothers actually prioritize self-care? All right. So this is something personal to me. Mm -hmm. This is something that has been going on for years. Women are naturally sympathetic, empathetic. Mm -hmm. to the extent that we ignore ourselves and take care of everyone except mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as a new mom, these are the do's. I will talk about the don'ts. Mm -hmm. So this is our topic. Mm -hmm. So as a new mom, you need to prioritize yourself. Prioritize yourself as in, if you take care of yourself first, all the others will flow mm -hmm. in the sense that whatever you intended to do, Mostly after giving birth, we fix all our focus on the baby and who a mother should be. Right. We want to get that superwoman achievement. And so we tend to ignore ourselves in the sense that if I like doing something in particular, I ignore it. Mm -hmm. um, so something like if I had certain goals, Sometimes it's about education. Right. Sometimes it's about giving yourself a treat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's about going on vacations. Sometimes it's about visiting serene places. And so we tend to forego that and fix our eyes only on the baby. And this affects us a lot. One of the do's is also make sure that um, you attend antenatal. Mm -hmm. So we've given birth. We are home. But then, do not ignore the fact that your baby and yourself can be at risk at any time. Right. So you should have your healthcare provider's number, and you should attend antenatal regularly. Also, you should seek for help. Mm -hmm. I spoke about super women. Mm -hmm. You know, I chanced on someone's post. Um, on WhatsApp, their, their story, their WhatsApp story. And then there was something versus something. So CS and the normal delivery. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So the CS and the normal delivery. So those who go for normal delivery is like the Israelite woman. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. something like a super woman. Yes. <laughs> so epidural and then enduring the pain. Enduring the pain. So mm -hmm. it's, look, However it is, whether you give it That's vaginally or CS, yeah. yeah. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, no one should look down. And it's nothing about being super. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we just want to do certain things to make ourselves feel comfortable. Right. But I feel these things are not important. Mm -hmm. When you need help call for help. Mm -hmm. That's why your partner is there. Mm -hmm. That's why your in-laws are around. Mm -hmm. If you don't have, you have friends that you trust. Now this comes with people who are paranoid in the sense that they feel some way um, allowing certain people to come yes. closer to them. If you think that you have that problem, then you should get one trusted person that you would want around you. Because Believe me, you, you can't do it all by oh, yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't do it all by yourself. And yes, your nutrition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the stage we are in where no one wants to add weight. Right. Mm -hmm. Even if they are born like that. Mm. This is something I've spoken about some time ago. Look, it is, it is very advisable to take care of yourself 
your weight and everything. But then genetics also sets in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's not deceive nature. Mm -hmm. If you think this thing is not anything that can bring any medical condition mm -hmm. or make you sick, then I think you shouldn't force yourself to do anything. We have women who have given birth now and they come to the hospital and it's so pathetic. They don't even want to eat. Hmm. What? Yes, wow. because no they don't want to weight. add weight. weight. So yeah. how do you feed the baby? Exactly. That is it. So now they kind of struggle for breast milk and then they substitute it for formula. I'm not condemning formula, but in the sense whereby you are okay to produce milk, and just refusing to eat, there is a question mark. Now we have certain produced biscuits that um, give breast, breast milk, milk and all that. But I also think you would need the strength to carry baby. Mm -hmm. right. You would need the strength to wake up at night mm -hmm. to breastfeed baby. You would need the strength to do daily activities. And so if anything, take something nutritious. Mm -hmm. Take your soup, a lot of water, green vegetables mm -hmm. you have to make sure you balance your diet right. but then you can also do this but still prioritizing yourself, yourself. going to the gym if you want mm -hmm. or making sure that there are certain times you don't eat mm -hmm. but even as a mother because of breast milk there are times that you would have to eat mm -hmm. because you would need energy to breastfeed mm -hmm. and you need energy for yourself right. so we shouldn't restrict ourselves in a way that we wouldn't be able to breastfeed our kids. Mm -hmm. because some also tend to talk about their breast serving and mm. all that. Mm -hmm. It's funny how our generation is going because mm. comparing our mothers to us, mm. it's so different. Yes, yeah. we had our types in them, mm -hmm. but our generation is totally different. And, and, and talking about that, I actually breastfed for six months mm exclusive yes no water yes and the breast didn't fall yes talking about the breast did not fall <laughs> <totally. laughs> is that so way? i was coming to yes. talk about oh, sex so. before oh, so. Yeah. so um it's all about genetics right now it doesn't mean that if your breast has fallen mm -hmm. there is a problem with that exactly absolutely look i i think women should start loving themselves True. Yeah. there is no True. definition for beauty True. Mm. exactly and so the way i am i would look at Chris mm -hmm. I'll look at any mm -hmm. of you, and we are totally different. different. But then I can't condemn myself that I'm not beautiful. Exactly. Oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. yes, Self love, of mm -hmm. course, because you and I, we don't have definition for beauty. True. I think it wasn't described in the Bible. Mm -hmm. no. Now there are people that genetically they've not even given birth, but they are breast. Yes. 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 yes, 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 and yes. it's it's still beautiful. It's still, it's still beautiful. woman. Exactly. So as you said you would breastfeed for years and still it will stand. Yeah. So we should just know our differences and then prioritize right. ourselves. Right, so, Nanefua, let me take yeah. this one. Um, new mothers uh, really go through a lot when, especially postpartum depression. Now, as a new mom, one may not even know that I am going through this or this is what's happening to me. How does one identify postpartum depression and how do you deal with it? Okay. So postpartum depression is very real, very, very real, to the extent that you don't know how it comes about. It comes about as a result of how all the other mental conditions comes about. Mm -hmm. Now, let me let you know that it's a mental condition mm -hmm. because it is registered from your mind. So post, um, So let me say you wanted a baby girl and then you gave birth to a boy. Mm -hmm. So upon just seeing the sex of the, the baby, child, yeah. you start going wow. through. Wow. It happens? It happens. Yeah. So let's assume you wanted a fair baby. Let's assume you wanted a dark baby, baby. Wow. and you gave birth to a fair <laughs> baby. baby. And it starts flowing. So like my namesake, Mami Fua, she's dark and beautiful. <laughs> but then you want someone like Ro Rudolph. Rudolph. Yes. And so you start going through this. Now, it doesn't matter the source of support or the people around you. No matter what they say, it is because of what you registered yes. in your oh head. Mm. So that is why I would always advise my colleague women not to assume anything when they are pregnant. Mm -hmm. First, we tend to go to the net, look at beautiful pictures of babies. I'm not saying it's, it's bad. It's not. But then you should know that 
you are you and your partner you are collaborating to make a baby mm -hmm. yeah. and so anything can can come out mm -hmm. so what the collabo will make is what you did <laughs> yeah. yes yes <laughs> and be ready for anything and then one thing is every baby is unique mm -hmm. you don't know the blessings they carry of course. And so, if women are able to know this, I think the reduction of depression. Also, let's leave the baby and the sex and everything aside. Now, stress. Yeah. So, I've given birth where everyone tends to concentrate on the baby leaving me. Yeah. Yeah. So, we all do this a lot. So, our friends will give birth. And mm -hmm. when we enter their house, the first thing we do, yeah. how, how is, is the, the baby? baby? Not how is the mother. Then we ignore the mother. We are women. Mm -hmm. Some of us, I gave birth to that baby, but I also feel that I should be paid attention to. Right. So it happens constantly, and then they ask themselves why they don't think about me. Mm -hmm. It's funny how our hormones are so high to the extent that the little thing can trigger yeah. something. So during this stage, it is very particular, it is very important to, 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 to keep eyes on your woman mm -hmm. or yourself mm -hmm. so that you can you can um, tap your, yourself when you are going mm -hmm, off mm -hmm. so that you can quickly come back to your senses. Right. So aside it, the stress. So I'm a mother and then I'm supposed to, I'm a corporate woman. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm not a corporate woman and I'm a, I'm a stay-at-home mom, home. now this thing I would also want to talk about. It. The fact that a person is a stay-at-home mom doesn't mean they are not doing anything. anything. Yeah. They wake up with schedules. Mm -hmm go to a light babies, mm -hmm. then they'll come and clean the house. Mm -hmm. If they're not even cleaning the house, they'll make sure that everything is organized and all that. It also works. It's a whole job. So, Which they're supposed to be paid. Yes. Yeah, I know a pastor who pays his Some are nice. paying their wives. Yes. Mm -hmm. Others yeah. too, they do it in kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it's all, about, <laughs> <laughs> it's all about how you make your woman happy. Yeah. Yeah. But they are also happy in their work. Mm -hmm. So, if you're a corporate woman, if you stay at home mom, you kind of put stress on yourself if you don't have now we have men who think that taking care of babies is strictly the role of a woman, a woman. Yeah. and so they tend to so leave everything, everything on yeah. the woman True. this is where the depression sets mm -hmm. now we have people who go and lock themselves in the washroom and cry right, right. i actually know someone that left the children and ran away Oh yes, Lord. for yes. days she's like, she, first of all it, when it started um she kept on saying she's like i don't like the baby I don't like the oh. baby. So it's just like that, what she said, everybody's yeah. attention is on yes, the baby. Yes. And she just kept on like, even when the baby is crying, she she's just, the baby. just staring, yes. just looking. Yes. The baby is crying, the baby is hungry. Yeah. Everybody's like, ah, oh, feed the baby now. Feed the... And mm -hmm. she's just like, no, it's, Nobody it's, it's not them. What it's, she's a, going it's a mental thing that she herself doesn't even know. Understand. Understand. Yeah. So yeah, so one day she just woke up one day, and up her absconded. And left Lagos. Yes. She actually wow. left Lagos and then went to another state. I yeah. watched a video on TikTok earlier this week in Desiree mm -hmm. where a white lady gave birth to a baby. I think the baby was about um, three to four months old, if my memory serves me right. Left the baby and went on a vacation for 10 days. Left the baby alone? Yes, or? alone, all by herself. You see, oh, I think all that is for like 10 days. Uh, the did the baby yeah, survive? Yeah, the, no, no, the, the baby, baby passed, passed on. on. Yes. And when the issue was taken to court, the hair lawyer. Um, argued that she had a, a mental, mental yes, problem. Yes, but, yes. I mean, so um, you were asking, how would you know that no. a woman is going through this? Yes. First, they tend to be quiet and mm. distant. Mm. Mm. So if the woman was the bubbly, extrovert type, they now become to distance, they begin to distance themselves. So that bubbly woman that someone like Chris mm -hmm. so all of a sudden you see that she's reserved yeah right. that's a problem so that's the first sign okay some are also able to voice it out mm -hmm. i'm tired i need help mm -hmm. so don't you think look babe don't you think you are supposed to help me with this mm. don't some are not able to tell you directly but as a sensible human being mm. you should know that voicing out these things repeatedly means that they need They're help tired. Right. Yeah. some also will not say it directly they will say as this baby came into my life a whole lot has been on hold and it's affecting me mm. and then complaining to you should tell you that 
there is something wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think these are the few ones I can give. Right. So, so we, we have some messages. Messages, yeah. right. You would want to um, take the first one? Yeah, there's one here um, from Dan Suman. Nanama from Dan Suman. Good morning, ladies. You look amazing. My baby tends to cry a lot at night. Okay. What should I do? This isn't a case of hunger or diaper change. I'm confused. Please help me. Okay, so as you've already spoken about what the diaper change mm -hmm. and not hunger mm -hmm. and also maybe not the positioning of the baby, then mm. it is best... No, she didn't talk about positioning. She just said not diaper and not hunger. Okay, sure. Uh -huh. So sometimes too, you should check the positioning of the baby, mm -hmm. the safety, the mattress, mm -hmm. if the baby is comfortable. If the baby is not comfortable, um, also try exchanging um, environments. Sometimes... Mm -hmm not going outside the house but a particular room then you try then maybe cuddling the baby if all this doesn't work the best thing is to call your health um, provider or go to the antenatal right, right. there's yes. another message here that reads as a new mother how can i ensure that i get enough sleep okay. how should i manage the time to do this i'm okay. suffering right. this coming from patricia and sunyani Hi, Patricia. So the best thing you are supposed to do is to know the schedule of your baby. As a new mother, your baby controls you. Mm. I talk ab about self-priority, mm. but also let's not ignore the fact that the baby controls you. So as soon as your baby sleeps, then make sure you also sleep. Right. You hold mm. everything you are doing and then sleep. sleep. Mm. So when you do this, it will help. Also, if you have people around you that if you're not par paranoid and you want them to help you, please let them. So sometimes you can let your in-law, whoever, a friend, mm. an auntie, take the baby whilst you are sleeping. Right. Mm. So it also helps. Right. right. Okay, so another person has a question. Good morning. Thank you for the education. These days, many of us women don't have mothers and aunties to help yeah. with our newborn babies. Nice. We also cannot afford nannies. Madam Midwife, please educate us on how to survive. Otherwise, we won't give birth again. Mm. Or yeah, Brenda from Spain. I get it. Brenda is not the only person complaining about this. Brenda is not. But one thing that um, Brenda should take note of is that happiness that comes from being a mother. Mm -hmm. I think this this is the most, most of times, this is the thing that is holding most mothers. Mm -hmm. They have three kids suffering, but the joy of becoming a mother is holding them, and it's enough for them. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can decide not to give birth. Mm -hmm. There are people who don't even want to give birth at exactly. all. Exactly. Yeah. And it's their decision, and it's beautiful. You can't impose anything on exactly. them. Exactly. And if you want to give birth, from how Brenda is saying, that means she has an interest. Yeah, she has an interest. But if she doesn't get support, mm -hmm. it means that is when the problem will come. Mm -hmm. But I feel the love alone. Mm -hmm. Brenda doesn't have any supportive mm -hmm. person. But if you have the love, you'll be pushed to do it, right. and she can do it. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, so we actually have a birthday message but i think we'll do that later but remember that you can send in your messages to the whatsapp number 0204447033 let's keep the conversation coming right so mommy um your final words before we wrap up completely on the show okay so my final words about mothers mm -hmm. So motherhood is a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but don't rush into it. Thank mm -hmm. you. Don't let anybody, because all your friends are giving birth doesn't mean you should also. Mm -hmm. Also, if it comes your way, don't take it out, embrace mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Motherhood has not stopped anyone from achieving her goals. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you give birth, it won't stop you from getting to that goal. Mm -hmm or achieving it. And so that's the only advice I'll give. They say a word to the wise is enough. So I oh, don't yes, need to yes, yes, yes. Of course. But how can people reach out to you? <laughs> okay, so my handle mm -hmm. on Instagram, Efua Ayesuya, mm -hmm. that's it. But then, I don't know, I don't like giving my numbers well, out. So it's, it's just on it's Instagram. Yes, yes, yes. 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 All right. That's All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. We have been speaking to Nana Efua Makovaitches. I love her last name.